So that was a pretty good start to the month. Hello, I'm Michael Thrash Sanctuary, and today we're going to go over how my first week of writing went for me. I'm still trying to figure out something to do with this channel, so bear with me. First of all, I'm wrapping up the second round of beta reading for Kingmaker. I'm going to be working on a lot of it this weekend, mostly because the research I had to do a couple of days ago kind of set me back. Um, yeah, I learned a lot about horses, but I didn't really get much writing done. Because now I have to implement all the stuff that I learned, and after that, I think the biggest issue will probably be the ending. I'm not sure if I'm going to be um, rewriting the entire ending, but I have a few other elements that I want to add. So, But hopefully beta readers will be able to start picking it up on Monday. Cross your fingers, because it depends on just how, in, uh, how much more detail I'm going to add to the last few chapters. So still, I'm pretty freaking excited about it. The new blog is taking up a little bit more effort than I thought it was going to. Well, not necessarily. It's taking up more effort than I planned for the blocks of time. Anytime you put in SEO content writing, it does wind up taking a little bit longer than just whipping out a blog post, and that's only because you have to do so much research. On the upside, I am learning a lot new, a lot more new tools, and I'm pretty excited to implement some of them. In fact, the thumbnail today was using Adobe um, Express to remove the background, which was amazingly easy. So yeah, I'm going to be putting that into a blog post. But one of the biggest reasons why I don't use a lot of myself in the thumbnails for the videos is because, well, my background is chaotic. God, I can't make a video for five minutes without somebody emailing me. But now that I see how easy it is with Adobe Express, I'm probably going to be using it a lot more often. At any rate, I'm really enjoying setting up this blog and learning quite a few new things that I can do with the YouTube channel. So I'm pretty excited to start implementing quite a bit of it. And I'm having quite a bit of fun, and in the grand scheme of things, that's all that really matters. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to Despair this week, but for a good reason. And Sam and I were talking about it, and she's my editor. We were talking about it on the way home from my girls' final concert of the year, and probably forever at their school. Um, both of us have a, a vague recollection of what's going on in Despair. <laughs> After all, it's been seven months, and there's quite a bit to the story, and so... If I want proper continuity and for the story to make sense, I'm going to have to reread it. This time I'm taking a bunch of copious notes. And I'm also looking for a new writing platform so I can put Despair into it instead of just using Google Docs. But so far, all the other tools that I might possibly use are being used for other books. So I want to expand my list of uh, writing tools for the website. And so i got to see if I can find something that she can log into and edit that I can share from directly. Because... There's only one platform that'll let me do that at the moment without having to pay a bunch of money, and that's Google Docs. In any case, the plan is to get Despair going before the end of the month, and I'm going to spend the next few days rereading my story to make sure that I follow the continuity and where I was going with the storyline. But I'm really excited to get back to it because I really enjoyed making those videos. I really enjoyed writing that story. And lastly, I started a few other video projects that probably won't be published until well after Kingmaker is. My friend Chris Desitov gave me some ideas about documenting the process of writing my book, uh, mostly because I so want to talk about it, but I can't because everybody wants to be surprised by what's in it. So I decided I'm going to start uh, making recordings of the entire process of writing the book, and I wish I would have done that from the very beginning. But this does give me ideas for later videos, so I'm probably going to wind up doing it for every story I write for the time being. So what I'm going to wind up doing is recording the videos and then storing them in a folder on my desktop. Um, that way I remember they're there and to publish them once the book comes out. And I think it'd be kind of fun. So that'd be something else to look forward to. Anywho, that about wraps it up for this week. Um, I did get quite a bit done and, uh, I've added like, like originally it was like 76,000 words to Kingmaker. And now it's up to almost 85,000 and I still have about six or seven chapters to go through but I don't foresee adding a lot more to it, just fixing some things up. And so, yeah, probably going to be pushing about 90,000 words, which is about average for a book that size, or at least average for that genre. Writing a new blog has given me a slew of ideas for future videos, and I'm pretty excited to keep going with it. Even though it is going to take a little bit more time to write the content, I think it's going to be far more beneficial for me, and perhaps I can help other people along. That's how I started Writer Sanctuary. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about blogging, freelance writing, self-publishing, or anything else I cover. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'm going to get back to writing my book. 
I'll see you next time.